Hello, hello, Sarah Waggle here, astrologer and leadership coach here for this moon in Scorpio, October 15th through the 17th. And we are coming off of that eclipse in Libra and probably feeling very hungover. And so I don't want to attach a lot of um, meaning around this moon because I don't know what it's going to look like for most of us. And I may be feeling through it right now because I kind of just got emotional as I was recording this. Um, but what I will say is that if you're feeling emotional, which is completely watery Scorpio energy, uh, try something new. Let me just jump right into the card because we have the Hierophant in reverse. This is Admiral Nikiv. Uh, from Star Trek Next Gen. I love that this came out for this because I was literally like, I don't know what to say about this moon because we kind of don't know what the energy is going to look like. Already we have been through a lot of what the hell is going on in the world type energy. And so I kind of was like, let me trust the tarot to guide me into what to say. And so what I feel is because we have the Hierophants in reverse, it's all about unconventionality, unorthodox uh, ways of being. And I think that what we are experiencing is the emotional hangover from the eclipse, from whatever you were, I know I was at a retreat for the eclipse. So a virtual retreat. Um, and so I think, you know, if you went through something during the eclipse, a massive release or whatever, it's, it's all about taking care of your emotional well-being in a different way. By that, I mean, this could be if you are typically an emotional eater or an emotional binge watch Netflix or emotionally uh, pissed off or whatever. And I'm not saying like, don't be pissed off. Don't be angry. Don't I'm, I'm saying express these emotions, have your emotions, but experience them or create the experience of them being different, create the experience of expressing them in a different way. So if you typically would, you know, binge something, maybe it's time to binge a workout or binge uh, some heavy metal music so that you can dance it out and bang your head it out, right? All of these sorts of things. This Hierophant in reverse to me is all about trying something new. We got the tower uh, in reverse, um, making sure that I am showing the card the right way. <laughs> We got the tower in reverse several times leading up to the eclipse. Uh, and so the change is already in motion. Now it's now this is your opportunity to start playing or practicing um, being different and being different in how you deal with your emotions and being kind of unapologetic and unexcusable about it in that, you know, if, if you typically binge eat ice cream, maybe it's binge eat salad. <laughs> I don't know. I still like to binge eat ice cream. Uh, but anyway, my point is, is, is to try something new, practice something new with something unconventional, pick your emotion, like pinpoint what you're feeling. If it's grief, there may be a lot of grief. Honestly, there could be a lot of grief around this. And if there is, um, I definitely recommend getting support around grief um, and to, to really, you know, have the experience of grief. Grief is very common when we are parting ways with relationships, and that could be a lot of what's going on right now. Um, and so my point is, is that try different things, but pinpoint your emotion, whether you are angry or sad or hurt or scared or whatever, pinpoint what that is, feel it in your physical body. Where is it? Is it in your gut? Is it in your sacral? Is it in your lower back and your hips? Um, feel where that emotion lies in your body and then have the experience of processing it a different way, whether it's you lay flat on your bed and have an inner dialogue with yourself or whatever, but pinpoint what that is um, and find it in your body and work through that part of your body. Like I said, this could be how you nourish yourself or, you know, how you move your body or whatever. So anyway, I, that's what I'm feeling for this Scorpio, this moon in Scorpio. Um, again, this is October 15th through the 17th. And uh, so, yeah, there you go. The Hierophant in reverse. Um, very good guidance, I feel like, for this moon. Um, all right. So I'm Sarah Waggle, astrologer and leadership coach. I appreciate you so much for tuning in. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.